Today on Inside Pierce County, I'm going out with our new litter vacuum truck to tackle roadside garbage. I'm out at the Central Maintenance Facility in Fredrickson to see our new litter truck in action. Jordan, tell me about how did we deal with litter before we got the litter truck? We had four teams out daily um, picking up litter by hand. And we also have a crew with our Sustainable Resources Department that goes around and picks up litter as well. And we also have our adopter road program that we're looking to beef up a little bit as we search for people that want to work hand in hand with Pierce County to keep our roads clean. Picking up scattered litter by hand is really hard. How will this new equipment and the crew that mans it deal with that? The crew is going to be a lot safer going out and picking up scattered litter. The truck will be doing most of the work. It can be mixed in with vegetation and whatnot, so it can be really hard to grab. It'll go out in the fall and winter months. It's going to help us in leaf removal because those leaves can inundate our storm drains and cause roadway flooding. So we want to get out there and we want to remove those leaves before that happens. You ready to hop in and see what this is all about? Clean up some litter? You bet. Cletus is going to show you the ropes. Oh, both wheels turn. That's kind of, kind of freaky. So Cletus, can you explain to me the controls? You got you got a lot of them here. So this right here is our joystick that controls our boom, in and out, up and down. So hopefully you played some video games. Yes, I do play video games. <laughs> so you want to try this out? Absolutely. All right. Take the whole joystick and move it towards you. Toward me. Now, how close do I need to get it to the ground to be able to effectively vacuum? It will be about six to eight inches okay. above the ground. Whoa. <laughs> I, I did not have the trigger pulled. I'm seeing this requires some skill. It this does. is not something you learn in a day. It takes, it takes a lot of experience in, to operate this. Yes. So Cletus, I know I definitely don't have the touch or the skill to do your job. Uh, how about if I go learn Gary's job? Sounds good. Normally when we come upon a bag, we'll, we'll cut them open. Uh, you wanna make sure there's nothing hazardous in there. You don't wanna like suck up engine oil or uh, anything that can damage the macerator or the tube. up the boom and allow you to throw it in there. Jordan, we just picked up a lot of litter. Where does it come from and what can we do about it? We're seeing a lot of litter from cars and pedestrians and they can combat that by disposing of trash properly or by carrying a litter bag in their car. We're seeing some illegal dumping, which is household garbage, building materials. We want to make sure people are securing their loads in the back of the vehicle. If somebody sees a lot of litter on the side of the road, how do they tell us about it? They can uh, call our phone number here at Maintenance and Operations or go online to our website to report any requests. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Roadside litter is bad for our road traffic. It is hard for our environment and compromises our water quality. Our crews are doing their part to clean up our roadsides. I hope we all can do our part to keep them clean.